Preston and I first met at college up in Canada and he was very intelligent and I thought I could never get a man like that. I don't know if I've ever seen someone adore their wife as much as Preston adored Tara. He really did. Preston was a youth pastor and part of being in that role is, you know, he, he has a need and a desire to help people. He had a passion to teach those kids about the Bible and he did it really well. I first met Preston at my office and he came in to talk about auto insurance. So we talked about the auto, we talked about the renter's insurance, and you know the most important one is the life insurance that we brought up. When they first came into the office, uh, they were interested in something inexpensive, something they could afford on a young couple's budget. So I introduced um, a term policy, just to get them in the door to help them be insured and with the goal of getting it converted into something permanent at a later time. It was the night of September 15th and Preston and Jacob and I were going to drive to Canada to see my family. I was 10 weeks pregnant and most of our friends and family didn't even know that I was pregnant. The traffic ahead was slowing. We saw an elk in the middle of the road and um, so we swerved to the right with everybody else. So they pulled over to the side of the road and Preston said I have to help these people. Just Preston, that's who he was, he helped people. People were injured. He said, I need to call 911. He went back to his car, got his phone, ran back over to the scene, and at that time, after he'd made the 911 call, there was a car that didn't see the accident that came up too fast and swerved and hit Preston. I ran across the road and he was laying there, so I held him and um, I prayed with him and I sang to him. And I sang, the only song that came to my mind was Jesus Loves Me. And um, I started shaking so bad and then I couldn't find a heartbeat after I was done singing. And I believe that he died in my arms. I just, I just couldn't believe it. It's one of those things that, like, this is not happening. That was my first death claim. Getting the check in hand and being able to take that to Tara and her family made me feel like I did what I could to you know, ensure their family and make sure that uh, they were going to be financially stable. Today, uh, Tara and the kids are doing, doing great. Micah, their second son, was born uh, in April. Because of the life insurance, she's able to stay at home and she's able to watch her kids grow up and she's taking care of them. It is challenging being a single mother. It's very hard to know that nobody will walk in at the door at the end of the day and give me a hug or the boys will run to see their daddy. That's not going to happen. I think the future is bright for Tara. I think um, she has a strong faith. She has so many friends and, and family that love her. She has a lot of support. I would really encourage young people to get life insurance because you're not invincible and you don't know what can happen. And I was completely naive thinking we would see our 50th wedding anniversary and that's the hope that most people have when they get married. Um, but you just can't plan on that. And so no matter if you have children or whether you don't, it's peace of mind. Since Preston and I had always wanted to stay home with our children, the life insurance policy allowed us to continue that dream. And I'm so thankful for that.